Hi, I'll show you how to install and use Angon plugin for Rhino and Grasshopper and introduce you the basic functions of this polygonal mesh plugin. Install either by going to the foot for Rhino and typing Angon plugin, search, going to the Rhino mesh Angon methods for Grasshopper following the instructions that are written on this page and downloading you know the the last version of the Angon plugin. You can also find example files here and a gallery what you can do with this plugin. But I'll also show you uh, another way how to install plugins uh, for Rhino and Grasshopper. Uh, also this Angon plugin uh, that can be sometimes easier. Um, if I go directly to Rhino Canvas, which is Rhino 6, and I would type uh, test package manager, you will have a new window that just uh, opened, uh, which is called package manager, uh, essentially. It's uh, it's a new way of installing Rhino plugins and Grasshopper plugin for Rhino. Um, for instance, you can find all available plugins that uh, are stored online uh, by developers themselves. And if you search for the Angon plugin, you, you will find uh, the same version that that can be downloaded from Foot for Rhino. And I, if I would press download and install, it will take for a while. Uh, but after it's installed, uh, you, you can restart the Rhino and you can use directly this plugin afterwards. Just to have some information uh, where uh, the files were downloaded and installed, these files were installed in, uh, in a bit different folder, which is called uh, uh, packages uh, 6 which uh, which can be found in application data roaming McNeil Rhino service package 601 to delete this file you need to press delete as, as normally you would do in a Rhino libraries folder but just to be sure that you know that this file when you press install in the package manager it appears in this folder and this folder you can know see all the files that belongs to this Angon plugin um, and you don't need to do the unblocking as you would do typically in other plugins so if I do this I can uh, close Rhino because uh, uh, the package manager requires uh, this this procedure I will type the grasshopper command and the command line, uh, I would see the, the new version of Angon plugin is already installed here. I'll skip this getting started with the grasshopper and I'll walk you through what this, uh, this plugin is used for and, and some, some basic functions. One way how to explore this plugin is by downloading example files from Food for Rhino. You can take this uh, last tab which is called examples and you press download and once it downloaded you would see that there is a series of fi files that you can drag and drop in your grasshopper canvas and explore it one by one in the future tutorials I'll go through these examples and try to explain what is the, the functionality of this plugin but for now uh, as an introductory course I will show you how to convert uh, a polygon lines into a mesh itself. So let's start. So I'll close the, um, the browser and if I would open Grasshopper window, uh, the Angon tab is right to your uh, right side. And to, to create an Angon mesh, which is essentially a triangular mesh itself, but with additional properties of polygons, is uh, is located in this Angon tab 
and uh, to convert uh, a mesh you can a series of, of methods and the simplest way is to convert a, a, a group of closed polylines to a triangular mesh so let's take a component called from polylines um, which can be found here and for instance I would like to take a hexagon grid so let's say we have a, a simple array of, of, of hexagons in two dimensions and I would select these polygons and would uh, place it inside Gazapper. I would right click, set multiple curves and you would see that if I would take a panel that there are a series of uh, polylines which are closed and if I would connect to the curve component it's, uh, it's directly converted to a mesh and it, it does not it, it's not uh, different from any kind of mesh that is uh, as a rhino mesh you can also uh, see that if I would take a normal mesh you know in, in Razzopper and if I would connect a panel you would see that it's it, it's the same mesh, it just has additional property of polygons inside, meaning that you don't see a tri triangular faces, you only see polygonal faces. So if I would hide these these polygons, you would see that mesh edges are these polygon edges, and all the functions of uh, pure mesh edges works as you would have a typical mesh, and uh, to show you the, the way uh, the mesh treated behind this component is that if I would clear all the polygonal information you would see that it's still triangular mesh just uh, these edges are not shown but faces are grouped into these series of all groups and there are a different way how you can uh, uh, convert uh, polylines to, uh, to polygons so one way is uh, is to is to take uh, a center like you know the center of this mesh and then triangulate according to the center another way if you right click and untick min triangulation um, you would see that uh, it creates a minimal amount of faces but there is no no vertex at the center so that different situations and for different stations you might need this kind of mesh and for other stations you might need uh, the mesh that looks like like that you can also preview uh, a mesh a bit differently it, uh, there is a component called ungon preview so if I would uh, take uh, this component and I would connect uh, uh, the mesh like that you would see that you can preview the back and front of, of the mesh faces so I would take a swatch um, and you can change the front color and, and, and the back, back, back color you can also change uh, the edges which normally in Razzopper if you would have a, a, a normal mesh like this you cannot differentiate between the front and back and you cannot see the edge, edges themselves so sometimes this preview helps and sometimes not so it depends what you really need uh, as a graphics okay so the next step is you can also convert it uh, from other data uh, structures like the meshes themselves uh, and and, uh, and reps uh, and then also curves with holes so this was the case of uh, converting uh, closed polylines to mesh to angle mesh and the other way is let's say we have a let's say a simple rectangle and that simple rectangle I have a you know a, a hole and I would like to convert this to, to a mesh so in Angon tab there is a component called Delaney so it uses a Del Delaney triangulation to convert 
a series of borderline vertices to a mesh. If I would reference those uh, polygons to Rhino and connect it to a Delaunay uh, component and co converts directly a mesh. So it's a, it's a normal mesh, it's not yet ungone. Um, there's another uh, step that you need to do, it's called uh, from mesh. So it converts this uh, um, uh, triangular mesh of the hole uh, to the polygonal mesh. If I connect uh, this uh, component to a component called from mesh, you would see that all the triangulation display uh, is, uh, is hidden and only like this information that is like one group is, is, is displayed. In the back, as I mentioned before, there is still a, a triangulation as was before, but uh, in this case, you only have a display and the properties of polygonal meshes. Uh, in this case, a mesh with a hole. Another step is sometimes you would like to have a, a series of surfaces that you, you would like to convert to a mesh. Um, Let's say I, ha I would have a closed brep, so I would have a planar surface, which looks like that. I would reference a uh, brep to Rhino, not Rhino to Grasshopper. And then I would use a component from brep. Essentially, it does a similar to the thing to this component, just it works with, with breps only. Uh, so you would see that it's already converted to, to, um, to a mesh. Um, and to see this information, I can again clear uh, the mesh from Angon. So you see that there is still this triangulation, which is as minimal as possible. And there is a last component from Angon, which is called Get Polylines, which uh, takes this, this mesh and only extracts a series of polylines. So you get this net of, of closed closed outlines that you can already work, I don't know, with other plugins or with other methods and you can also convert back to, to the mesh itself. So that's it for for the introductionary course of, of, of the Angon plugin and see you next time.